before we start, I want you to hit that red subscribe button so that you never miss out on any of our videos. Hey guys, what's up and welcome back to Celeb Factor. Here are celebrities who launched schools. Pipple started the Sports Leadership and Management Academy. Pipple seems like the most unsuspecting person to open a school, yet he proudly did in the fall of 2013. He found a way to take his passion for sports and turn it into a school that can grow and expand on that passion for future generations. His school is based in Miami and is called the Sports Leadership and Management Academy, referred to as SLAM. The fundamental elements of a regular school curriculum are taught within the school, in addition to subjects which emphasize sports and sports management. Pipple tells NPR, if sports is what you love one way or another, it's a business you can get involved with, whether you're a therapist, an attorney, a broadcaster, and much more. Recreation and wellness, or coaching for one of our athletic teams. You can Shakira gives back to Columbia eight times over. Shakira has taken a philanthropic approach to the opening of not one, not two, but a jaw-dropping eight schools in her native homeland of Columbia. She recognizes that for many less fortunate families, attending school is a luxury, and she wants to change that conversation. The highly successful artist has used her funds generated from her nonprofit organization to cultivate accessible schooling for children in Colombia, and remains focused on serving the disadvantaged community with continued opportunities for growth and development. Billboard reports on Shakira's honorable efforts and quotes her as saying, I want to demonstrate how we can change lives not only the children who come to school, but also their families. It's a right that should protect society in which the state should defend the Serena Williams Secondary School. Serena Williams has put her focus in ensuring that Kenyan families can receive a solid educational background, even if they don't have the finances to support their schooling. In Kenya, it costs families $1 a week per child to attend school, but the community is so impoverished that it's highly unattainable for the majority of the population. Serena opened the Serena Williams Secondary School in 2008 and the Wee Secondary School a few years later and fully funds the facility to ensure that children have a free educational opportunity designed to better their futures and the future of their families and communities as a whole. Madonna's Raising Malawi Madonna has proven to have a soft spot for Malawi and has gone to great lengths to adopt children from that region. She continues to invest in the overall growth of Malawi through her charity, Raising Malawi, which she founded in 2006. With a soft spot for helping children in need, Madonna's organization has been the catalyst for the opening of a large number of schools in the area. She's contributed to the community by offering a number of educational facilities that help educate and safeguard vulnerable children and provide opportunities for fundamental growth. She's also opened an entire children's wing at the local hospital to ensure children who need medical care have available resources. It's amazing to raise awareness, but... Diddy represents the Capital Preparatory Harlem Charter School. Sean Combs, known as Diddy in the music industry, has long been an advocate for helping children that come from disadvantaged communities. He realizes that many families with low income find themselves focused on survival from day to day, leaving no room for their children to focus on educational opportunities. In certain neighborhoods, children have very few opportunities to expand their mind and be part of a creative, productive workshop or activity, which often means they find themselves attracted to street life. In an effort to provide opportunities for disadvantaged students and offer them healthier options to expand their horizons, Diddy founded the Capital Preparatory Harlem Charter School in New York. It was built in the neighborhood in which he was born and says it was a dream come true for him to offer this educational experience to youth in that area. LeBron James's I Promise LeBron James opened a public school in his hometown of Akron, Ohio called the I Promise School. He was motivated to do something for his local community when he drew on his past experiences and challenges when he himself was a student in that region. James was raised by a single mother and they struggled to make it to school each day because it was very challenging to find transportation to even make it in. The LeBron James Family Foundation and Akron City Schools partnered to open the I Promise School, which has been designed to provide educational experiences for children from first grade all the way through grade eight. I promise to respect my elders and peers the same, to leave new places better. But this brings us to the end of our video. I hope you enjoyed it. Hit like if you did, and don't forget to subscribe to our channel so you don't miss out on any of our videos in the future. Also, watch the two videos that are on your screen, because I'm sure you'll love them. And with that, I'll see you in the next video.